Hey everybody, Nick here, and it's no secret that the last few months have been kind of a tough time for uh, local shops of any variety, but especially specialty shops like cutlery dealers and things like that. Even online shops have been struggling as people have been, well, at some serious economic hardships, and especially local shops that rely on word of mouth and foot traffic to drive sales have probably haven't been having a really rough time, and so what I wanted to do today is to use my channel for good for a change, rather than just getting people, you know, into watches, um, and try and unite uh, people who might be looking to buy a, a fancy piece of cutlery or a not so fancy piece of uh, cutlery with a, a cutlery focused shop that you know could definitely use the support and the way I'm going to do that is just by creating another video what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow shops and I'll give some more details in a moment to sub, uh, submit basically short clips describing their shop and then I'll stitch all those together in some meaningful way and then uh, people can just watch that video and they can be introduced to a bunch of shops that maybe they've never heard of before but maybe they'd love to give some business to right um because I think that's a beautiful thing. And now more than ever, it's important to support local businesses or failing that to support small businesses rather than just giving your, your cutlery dollars to, you know, Amazon or some other major, you know, giganto retailer that doesn't even specialize in the cutlery world. And so here's the approach I'm going to take. I'm going to ask for any any shop to send me a, a video, um, a 30 to 45 second video. I mean, you're welcome to go shorter than that. If you feel like you can get away with it, that's no problem. But featuring you and your store. And I'd like to do a video rather than just audio or something like that because this is a video format, right? And at the very least, I'd like the following information. I want to know where you are, city, state, and country. Because by the way, this is open to folks around the world. I got viewers all around the world, so there's no problem there. Some of the brands that you're proud to carry, you know, tell us who you carry. Tell us, oh, you know, I'm a ProTech dealer, so if you want a ProTech, you can, or something like that. I mean, don't have to listen, but you know, feel free to give that. What makes your store special, unique, and memorable? You know, why should somebody pick your store over any of the other people in the video? What, you know, what makes you interesting. Um, where people can find you online, whether that's a website, an Instagram, or just, you know, come on into our shop on Main Street and such and such. Um, and then upload that file to YouTube or share with me a URL or a public Google Drive link, whatever. But you'll send this video directly to me, and then I'll stitch all of those directly together and create the video. They, requirements-wise, I'm trying not to be much of a pain about it, but I want these to be knife or EDC focused uh, stores or retailers here. Meaning that a substantial portion if not the majority of your business, should be cutlery-related, ideally across several brands. I mean, I'd rather not have brand-associated factory outlets. I don't picture, you know, Spydeco submitting their retail shop to this, but still, I, I want to keep it open to people who do multiple brands, etc. And I'd really rather not have just, like, a random gun shop that has a Benchmade case in the back submit for this. I really want these to be cutlery retailers. You know, maybe an outdoor retailer that prides themselves on a strong cutlery section. I'm not going to draw strong lines here, but I really want there to be cutlery focused at these shops. Um, these shops need to have some online presence, even if that's just a, a single website uh, where, with a phone number and such. But my viewers need to be able to find you online rather than just, you know, calling your phone number or something like that. Even if that's just an Instagram page, whatever. But you need to have some online presence. Please, uh, actually not just please, videos must be filmed horizontally, you know, like this one, rather than vertical video syndrome, which is just not great. Um, don't use any copyrighted songs, images, or videos in there just for legal reasons. And again, for 45 seconds is the maximum time that I'll allow for this, just because I don't want one person to try and go, you know, go on for five minutes or something. God, I hate when people go on for three minutes and 38 seconds about, no, anyways, I digress. So those are just, those are the only real requirements. You need to be knife or EDC focused as a retailer. I don't care if you sell other things as well, but that really needs to be the bulk of your business. Um, and then I get a couple of requests generally. Please focus on the cutlery aspects of your video for this video. I mean, sure, you might have a, an extensive cigar collection. Or you might also sell guns, but focus on the knife brands that you carry there. Um, focus on why you're great rather than why your competitors are awful. I mean, you'll be right next to your competitors, and eh, maybe you consider them competition. Maybe they're just friends. Look, but focus on why your business is great rather than knocking down somebody else. If you're negative against somebody else, I'm not not going to include your video. Please keep the tone positive, inclusive, and kind. Try to remember that, you know, not everybody views the world in the same way that you do, and, you know, it, it, it doesn't need to come into any of this. The looking for cutlery stores. Just try and seem welcoming to the world, right? Make sure that it's audible and that it's watchable. So, you know, make sure that I can hear your voice clearly, and make sure you're not doing the seizure cam thing, which I would probably be doing if I didn't have a tripod doing the work for me. And then make it interesting, memorable, and funny. Because the thing is, people are going to be watching a bunch of these. 
And I'm pretty sure that the videos they're going to walk away from and be like, wow, I want to support these folks are the folks who are interesting, are the folks who are memorable, who are funny, who are endearing. Try and make your video stand out. I'm not saying, you know, you have to, you know, do tricks or something like that. I'm just saying, you know, do your best to find something that makes your store memorable. And then a couple of reminders. I'm just going to stitch together what you send me. I'm not going to do any editing. Please don't. Oh, could you just overlay my phone number? Like, no, I'm, I, I really can't. Because times however many people I get that, that's not going to be pretty. I can't provide any tech support for the process. You're just going to give me a URL that works. And that's, that I, I'm not going to be like, oh, can I email you the video uh, can, from my AOL account? No, we're not, we're not doing that. Just make sure I get the video. Um, by uploading, you are asserting, of course, that you own the rights to all footage and you're giving me permanent uh, permission to post it in this video. I'm going to present people in a pretty neutral order. I, Depending on the number of people I get, it'll either be, you know, by state or alphabetically or something like that. But I'm, I'm not going to be like, oh, well, my very favorite is blah, blah, blah. Of course, I've ordered from a bunch of companies and a bunch of companies have been great. But I'm going to try and present people in a pretty neutral order, probably organized by state and country, that kind of thing. Um, if your video is really difficult to hear, difficult to watch, or it doesn't meet those requirements, I'll exclude it. And I reserve the final right to decide which videos are included for whatever reasons I see fit. Um, and then I guess the biggest thing here is I, you're not allowed to complain about the manner in which I give you free publicity. I'm doing this in good faith. Please honor that. And this is free. There is absolutely not, I'm not going to like, well, if you send me a free knife. No, I, I'm not doing any of that. My goal here is simply to support these businesses. That's, that's the only thing I want out of this. So, but please honor that and, you know, treat me kindly as I'm going through this process as well. This is free advertising to 100,000 people. You know, please honor that. But nonetheless, I'm really hoping that this will be a good thing and it'll connect people with what they what you want to do. Um, retailers, make the video. It, like I said, have some fun with it. Make it something entertaining. And then once you're done, you'll submit the video via this Google form. I'm doing a Google form just that way I have all of the information right there ready. So as I'm looking through, okay, I'll sort by Alaska. Okay, first this one, then this one, then this one. Well, sort by Alaska. Sort by state, I believe, is the proper term. Alaska is not the category name there. And this also has a place where you'll attest to me that I have permission to use all the videos and such. But um, hopefully it'll be a great thing. So anyways, um, retailers, I hope to hear from you about this. And of course, no shame if you decide not to. That's, that's no problem too. But um, anyways, I hope this has been interesting to you. And I hope that the eventual product is interesting to you. And I hope to be able to connect folks with uh, some retailers, hopefully in their area, hopefully even down the street that they never even knew about. And uh, well, boy, that would be a beautiful thing right now. So there you go. Hope this has been interesting. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.